And we are here. We are live. The final, final issue of the Heroes Reborn saga. It has been a fun ride. I just want to say to Jason Aaron, you did it again. You did it again, Jason Aaron. Oh, boy. So the comic book opens up where we left off on the last issue where Norn Osborn's killing everybody. And he has this cosmic cube type power. And we go back to where the Avengers and the Squandom Supreme and oh god, that beautiful panel seeing classic Thor versus uh, Hyperion. Oh, I gain flashbacks of the first Avengers run. Oh god, I I'm getting flashbacks and all that shit. Sorry, I'm getting drooling off that shit. So anyway, um, Prince's power is fighting uh, the Phoenix, and she's having a blast. Dr. Spectrum is having a tough time fighting that cosmic kid in uh, Heroes Reborn issue 2. Uh, Black Panther is kicking the shit out of Flash, and pretty much after that, we go back to Blade and Nighthawk, and pretty much they're both kicking the shit out of each other. We see Captain America meeting up to. Uh, yours truly, Norman Osborn, and pretty much, yeah, let's just say things didn't go so well. And then we go back to where Thor is at, and oh my god, dude, Thor just smashes his ass down, and I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And we have where Black Panther is kicking the shit out of yours truly, Flash. And then after that, uh, Dr. Spectrum gets his ass kicked. And then after that, we have where Phoenix beats the shit out of Princess Power. And Nighthawk and Blade are beating the shit out of each other. And it's all cool and awesome and fun and awesomeness and greatness. I can't wait. I love the shit. I love the shit. Anyway, anyway, the kid and the phoenix pretty much take down Princess Power. We go back to the fight between Thor and Hyperion. And I'm sorry, this just gets a massive nostalgia vibes between uh, Hyperion and Thor. I mean, they fought in the classic Avengers comics, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ. I'm getting a nostalgia out of this. Anyway, Hyperion gets rid of Thor. Fucking bullshit. Um, you have Hyperion and Nighthawk pretty much up against the Black Panther. And he kicks the shit out of them. He beats the shit out of them. And then after that, we have it where Captain America comes in and he whacks Hyperion in the face. And then you have the Phoenix and the fucking other girl... Uh, blasting Hyperion and then Nighthawk comes in and pretty much it's game over uh, everything goes back to being normal and pretty much the rest is history and you see Spider-Man's like hey yo Hyperion you look like you lost and Hyperion says yeah I guess I am and then everybody pretty much uh kind of goes to jail but kind of don't i mean some of them pretty much get questioned and some of them goes to jail the only ones that don't is hyperion and nighthawk um i'm sure we'll see princess power and fucking demon flash and other people but the ending this is the big okay all right you're really setting up another event later this year or next year and that is, we go back to hell, hell, and we have it where we see a dog, the Mephisto dog, meeting up with all these different Mephistos, and, and he says, with the 6115, and it has all these different Mephistos, and it just pretty much nothing more than a setup to a bigger event and i noticed something i noticed something mephisto is basically really on the eye right now they're really pushing mephisto and they're really trying to make him to be this big fucking villain and i wonder 
is this a answer to him coming into the MCU and also having, let's just say, resolving a lot of the issues that the Marvel Universe in the comics, but also putting him in the movies and the TV shows, because, you know, why not? It's just, that's how I see it. And also, just going on Marvel Comics in general, I do believe we're going to see Mephisto either be the main villain for a Marvel event, and you have all those tie-ins, and you'll probably have that tie-in with Spider-Man, you'll probably have those other tie-ins with different Spider-Mans in general, and maybe a Squandum Supreme tie-in, but overall, what did I really felt about this entire saga? I thought it was fucking amazing. <laughs> That's just saying a lot. I mean, I love this issue. I thought this event was fucking masterpiece. So I'm going to give it a straight out 10. A 10. At least for me. I enjoy this shit so much. Jason Aaron really did a home run. The only criticism is, you could argue, is we should have had a lot more time with the Avengers. But granted, we had so much fun, and yet again, I feel like if we had a little bit of the uh, a tie-in to tell us what's going on with the Avengers, maybe then the event would have been a lot more amazing. But I think it really is the best comic of the year. And to me, it is. I, I feel like it is. But yet again, that's just me. I mean, I know a lot of people are not really caring about this event. Not really buying it because of reasons. Um, but uh, it, it's worth your money. It's really worth your money, if you ask me. So, that's all for now. Stay tuned on my reviews. I'll see you guys next time. What was your favorite tie-in of this event? My favorite tie-in was the Night Gwen. Um, it definitely reminded me of uh, Batgirl. And besides that, my favorite issue of this event was issue 2. The Squanum Supreme embracing Superman. I love the shit out of it. I love the shit out of it. It was fun, it was great, and honestly, it gave a fuck you to DC so hard, I just, I was tearing up of joy, but um, it was a really good event. There was a lot of things I feel like they could have done a little bit more with this universe, um, that they had the alternate ver versions of the Marvel Universe to where there was no Avengers and... The Squanum Supreme was your Avengers. And I really think that they could have had an entire universe that they could explore. But um, the books that we had were phenomenal. Every tie-in was fantastic. Um, and I really feel like if they're going to do more events, they should be doing one-shots or miniseries. Three issues at length. Um, but yet again, you know, that's just me. I do recommend this event. I do feel like you should buy this event. And I feel like, you know, people should be checking out this stuff. It's really good. It's really good. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Tell me your thoughts about this event. Tell me your opinion about this event. And, uh, yeah. Later, guys.